America and hi there, everybody. Once again, we present This Is Your... Your attention, please. This is Dick Chapman, one of your official civil defense broadcasters with a special message. Military authorities have advised us that an enemy attack by air is imminent. This is a red alert. You are advised to go to your nearest shelter area immediately. Find shelter. There is not time to leave the city. Your state civil defense director has just issued the following instructions. Please remain calm. Every precaution will be taken for your protection. Keep your radio tuned to this place on the dial throughout the alert period for information. Telephone service to your home may be cut off to permit military and civil defense authorities to carry out vital operations. Do not attempt to join your family or your children if they are now separated. They will be cared for where they are. Obey your civil defense warden and find shelter now. Okay, I made it down to my survival shelter. I've got my manual, which tells me how to go ahead and do it. I needed my first aid kit for radiation, and lastly, a small survival kit. Now, along with this stuff, of course, I need to go ahead and stock food and water. So, I've got my emergency drinking water, and I've got like a case of this. And more importantly, I've got my official civil defense all-purpose crackers. So, now that we're down here and safe, let's check this stuff out. And start off with the water. Uh, it's got a contract number. And you can tell these were made in different locations. This one was from Boston. And this one was Richmond, Virginia. So... The thing I kind of, if you listen, it sounds like there's something solid in these. I know it's, it's just the water that's rushing from one side to the other. So, it uh, has a, a lot number on the top. I know that's a little scuzzy, and there's a lot number on that one. And there's really nothing else on the cans except for the writing on the front. So I figured that I would go ahead and open one old school with a can opener and the other one I'm going to go ahead and use this safety edge thing. So I'm looking at this, the reason why it won't work is my can opener bit right there sheared off. I don't know when in the heck that happened, but uh, man, I had these a long time. Crikey, well I guess that means that we are reduced to this if this will work yep and it's working okay which will be good seeing how uh, I really didn't want to destroy the can okay, let's see if this thing opened it nope and these ones do not work on this type of can can you hear that air escaping out of there. Wow. That is a... Uh... Huh. It's still cranking on. Let me see if I can get this cap off. Alright, crikey. I've been sabotaged by both of these things. So let's go ahead and go old school. Let's see if we can get the the cap off. There we go, it's finally freaking working. And this is a steel can too, so see there you go, it don't want to go anymore. So we'll try over here, pass this bend. go. Nice, fresh, clean water. It almost looks like a glass because of the silver lining. So let's go ahead.
no bad smells, no odors. So, huh, pretty cool. Now I know a lot of these, instead of going ahead and cutting off the top, however, it's recommended that you cut the top off because then you can use this as your cup or glass. And these things can also be used for sanitation purposes if you're down in the shelter. But probably the way that they would really open these in the real world is to go ahead and take, take the bottle opener, crack one side, and the other one for a little hole on the other side so you get positive flow. And that one smells okay too. Voila! All right, now the challenge. Let is, let's try to get inside of the crackers. Okay, I'm gonna try this first because it would be nice to kind of hang on to this can. I could use it for other things. So we'll see if this is possible. Uh, this is hard to do with a bummed up arm. So, and we're still going. It looks like it's working. I guess we'll find out. It doesn't really like the corners too well, I can say that right off the bat. But hey, this stuff has been sealed in here for God knows how long. And I know I'm off camera, but uh, I don't know if that's working or not. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Holy shnikes. Mm. Almost around. Oh, that'd probably be a good thing I got therapy today. I don't know if I got through this or not because I don't really smell any odors or anything. Okay, now to see if it worked. Highland Sog, it didn't work, so <laughs> all that work. All right, we'll go to the standby can opener. This thing was actually kind of designed quite a long time ago to work with this stuff, so. We'll check it out. Maybe it did work. It did work. These things do work. That's amazing. Well, for the most part. So here we go. We get a first look. What? Oh, there is a... Woo! There is a definite uh, permeating odor coming out of these. Uh, wow. Oh. Uh. <coughs> Mm, mm. Uh, yeah. Um, they look kind of like club crackers <laughs> on the ends. From the, I one was kind of, I one was kind of scared to open this out of the. Uh, ah, uh, it's a YouTube vid. Uh, somebody said I don't try things, so Jesus. Uh, <laughs> the even my dog even my dog took off took off. I got one. She's still she's still laying on the carpet, breathing <laughs> breathing the odor. <coughs> uh, mm, I don't. I'm not even putting this on a tray. So. Yeah, even the wax paper is pretty. <coughs> uh, 
Oh, Kiwi dude, I can I can hear you laughing right now from when I gave you a hard time for your cracker episode. <coughs> mm, mm. Uh, oh, this is got such a foul odor. Uh, I don't I don't I screw that can. That can is going right in the garbage. I knew it would have been neat to kind of hang on to it, but all right, here it goes. Oddly enough, the cracker itself doesn't taste that bad, but the smell, oh, the smell is just un unbelievable. So, ah, oh, crap, I got cracker gunk in my water. So, uh, there you go. Ah, that does kind of have a tinny taste to it. I'll take a pull right out of the can. Oh, thank God for this. This stuff actually <laughs> makes this stuff... T uh, okay, well, now you got to see... I cannot believe I'm picking this thing back up close to my face. <coughs> you got to see what was inside of these civil defense, all-purpose survival crackers. <coughs> I happen to... Uh, To find these uh, on eBay, I thought it would be kind of funny because I had all of the rest of that stuff from uh, <clears throat> from before from a, a, a project that I did. But the water is fine. And, and yeah, the water cans upside down, but the water is is fine. These crackers <clears throat> are I've. I mean, these are like, what, 40 years old. Uh, if you're curious and you see these on eBay, just leave them right there on eBay. I don't really recommend uh, buying them, unless if you're just all into self-punishment. So, well, there you go. Uh, foul civil defense crackers and uh, government water. You gotta love it. Cheers, everybody. Bye. Oh, for the love of God, make it stop.